Okay, so what I'm doing here is I have these rope lights along the mirror, um, but there's also these these tube lights here that uh, you know they don't light up real well, um, and we want a little more flashiness in here. So what I did here on this side is I've removed that rope light. What I'm going to do is put the uh, put LED strips in there on both sides so this one this one will be removed uh, and there'll be uh, flashy LEDs they can uh, you know play to the music I'll show you what I uh, have to do up front so up front I had to remove the uh, you know the pretty stuff separating the uh, passengers and the driver so right here are the rope lights they're going through the wall and this hole right here is uh, where I took that one rope light out of and then I'm gonna be coming over here and removing this one right here to put the wiring through for the LEDs So what we have here are the LED strip lights that are going to be going in there. They are connected via AC. I'm not going to deal with any, uh, you know, converting to DC. So what I'm going to do is put a inverter in there and connect it to the, uh, you know, cigarette lighter, and uh, it will run these. It's only 34 watts, so we won't need a huge inverter. Maybe like. 50 to 100 watts, but on the ceiling, you know, this will go to music. There's a little slower version, but so instead of those, you know, lame rope lights up there, it'll have some flashiness and some color. And we'll be able to control it with the remote here. Hopefully people don't damage it. So because that rope light is a lot narrower than this LED strip, um, and the hole in the mirror is so small, what I'm gonna do is start the plug-in end. I'm just gonna cut it right here. That way this can go through the hole, these small wires. And I have extra wire here, a whole roll of wire that I'll, I'll then, once I get through the hole, splice these wires in and uh, then continue it down to the controller and then same for the other side. Okay, so I, connected I cut off the one end to here and I uh, soldered the wires together so I could slip it through the hole and then I have a lot of extra wire just plain old wire there so I can run at a distance I soldered the, uh, the wires together temporarily just to make sure I didn't screw anything up and they still work so now I know they it will work so once I get them through the hole of the mirror, I can re-solder them together. And there's plenty of line in order to do that uh, you know, pretty easily uh, without having to be in an awkward position. Okay, so I got this uh, one side hooked up. And I have this connected to you know, just a power cord. I'm going to start the car up see how it looks with all the rest of the stuff. Here's the side I didn't do anything with, and here's the other side. Let's see, let's go red. I'm not close enough to use the remote.
Yeah, let's do the music. Okay. Let's do the music too. 